Okay, this is uh, part two. I think this is working now. Um, basically, I this might actually load before, so let me just give a quick review. The other one is a lot longer. Uh, we're talking about the Legends Pinball versus Arcade One Up. This is part two. I was about to. We talked about the price increases and such. So now we're going to talk about what did Arcade One Up do that was so bad. Um, with the 720, why didn't that work out? And what could they have done differently? We did talk about the fact that um, they should have vetted better with players and not have been so secretive with it. They should have vetted with players. Um, they should have been more honest about the process. And finally, they should have brought out a low-end model um, that uh, meets cost, and then they should have separated that and came out with a high-end model for those willing to pay more. Some people wanted the pinball to be uh, four or 500 range no matter what. Some people wanted the pinball to just be a great pinball machine and would pay more, okay? Um, I think Arcade 1UP should have came out with two versions, the low end and then the higher end. Now that Legends kind of cornered the high-end market, Arcade 1UP is kind of in a pickle. They really, they're not meeting anyone's expectations. Come out with two different machines. That's your solution. And right now, Legends is running with this. So Arcade 1UP, you're going to have to get busy. I know that Arcade 1UP, actually, they don't feel they're making money on this. They don't, I'm sure they're wondering if it's even worth it. I wouldn't be surprised if they phase out pinball. But even if they don't phase it out, either they can raise prices and people will pay it, which is hard to do. Legends raise prices $150, but I don't know if Arcade One Up can get away with raising their prices and not getting a lot of a lot of uh, flack, a lot of kickback. Okay, because they're not offering a better product to justify that price raise. So may, the way I feel is maybe come out with a 34 inch version later. And um, jump ahead of uh, Legends, make it 4K, and definitely use premium um, um, products for a hap feedback and stuff like that. Make sure that that's, that that's premium. Don't try to cut corners there. People will jump all over you. Okay, so what is wrong with the uh, RK 1UP 720? Because a lot of people are saying, oh, well, the solution is that it just should have been 1080p. That's actually not true, guys. It, so I'm going to try to explain this, and I know I'm going to get corrected on some things, but I'll try to put it in everyday language. I know a lot of people know this, but there's a lot of people that don't. Okay, 720p is high definition, first of all, okay? And then uh, 1080p is full high definition. And then if you jump to 4K, it's ultra high definition. And then you can go even farther and go ultra high definition HDR. And then you can take it even farther. Ultra high definition HDR uh, plus or um, ultra high definition um, HDR as well as Dolby Vision. So that's the highest of highest Dolby Vision with HDR. Um, and you can, and Blu ray uh, ultra high is really. If you want to see the best movie you can, that's how you would go. All right, let's get back to this. What happened with 720p with the arcade one up? There is no reason that 720p should not have looked good and looked high def. So what went wrong? You think it's because it's not 1080p, and that's not really the case, okay? 720p has 720 lines of resolution by 1,280 lines of resolution, okay? If you actually put a DVD in, the picture looks pretty good. Maybe it's not as ultra crisp as a high def, but there is nothing wrong with the DVD picture. DVD picture is, is still a very good looking picture. DVD 720, guys, is actually has twice, is twice as sharp as DVD. But the problem is, is that when you play the pinball, it doesn't look like it's twice as sharp as DVD. It doesn't even look like it's as sharp as DVD. So what went wrong? Because guess what, guys? They can come out with 1080p and still did what they did to 720, and you'll be very unhappy. So this is what happened, okay? Um, 720 should look crisp, 
even on a 32-inch display, 720 still should have looked good. So, um, as I said, they're on a 24-inch. 24-inch is 24-inch should look good even at DVD 480 standards. Um, so this is what happened. Okay, the first thing that they did wrong, in my opinion, was that they uh, they lowered the data rate. Okay. Um, so you can have a fixed data rate, okay? Um, it's called a pixel. So and, and how each pixel is captured, for instance, uh, I, I hate to get tech, 720 times 1080 for um, a 720 um, for 720p has 777,600 uh, pixels on a screen at one time. Now you can take those pixels and fix it. So that it's at 720 consistently all the way through. Or you can get what is called a veritable rate, where you can change that rate up and down for how many pixels are on, even though you're, it's technically 720p. So in other words, you can kind of make it look pretty bad at 720 if you're trying to cut cost by uh, doing a veritable rate, which means that you can lose, use a real low rate. If you want to know who plays those games, Netflix and Amazon Prime does it all the time, okay? They do use a veritable rate so that it's not fixed. If you don't believe me, put an ultra high def movie in and then watch it on Netflix and Amazon and tell me if you can tell a huge difference. In fact, Blu-ray on um, a Blu-ray on, uh, on a Blu-ray player on Blu-ray 1080p looks better than 4K in a lot of cases on um, Netflix or Amazon Prime. Some people believe Amazon Prime looks a little better than Netflix. They use a higher bit rate, but they don't tell you what those bit rates are because they don't want to. Because if they did, people would be pissed off that they're cutting, they're, they're advertising 4K, but they're actually not giving you a, the maximum 4K you can get. Okay, so um, this is a bit rate. The higher the bit rate, the better it looks. RK went up, they obviously use the low bit rate, as very low bit rate, I might add. So they're advertising 720p, but that low bit rate. The second thing that they did wrong was the resolution, okay? So the resolution is the number of uh, pixels in an image. So a high resolution image will have more dots, okay? Which allows it to display more detail. Resolution basically refers to, for us, uh, bit mapped graphics, graphic images, okay? Uh, the picture, the pixel resolution will uh, decide the quality. In other words, how many pixels per inch of the monitor screen. The more pixels per inch of the whole monitor screen, then the better the picture will look. Now, if you wanna understand this the best, then if you have an iPhone, then you would understand this. iPhone uses one of the highest pixels per inch for their screen. That is why when you take a picture with an iPhone, even if it's only at um, 12, uh, even if it's only at um, 12 megabit pixel, or I don't know what the latest is, and it, it, which is lower, where some are advertising 18 megapixel pictures or 24, but yet the iPhone pictures seem to always look better. It's because they add more dots per inch. So it's not just how many megapixels the picture is, it's how many dots per inch. I think this is 500 something per inch. So the more dots per inch, on, um, then the more, the better it looks. So they probably aren't using very many dots per inch. They obviously aren't using very many dots per inch because some of, that's why you get so much pixelation, okay? Um, so again, and then the third thing, the third thing that they uh, play games with with the 720p and why I'm trying to tell you guys 720p is actually pretty freaking good looking and there's no, that is a, uh, RK1UP Digital Pinball is a terrible represent, representation of 720p, okay? So it's not about 1080p, it's about how you implement the 720p, okay? So the third um, is the frame rate. All right, so for example, in a video, there are thousands of individual uh, images in a sequence, and each individual image are frames. 
So how many is in one image is how many frames. The frequency of these independent frames appearing consecutively on the screen at a given time is your frame rate. Okay, so when there's a few frames per second um, that are captured and displayed, and then some of the detail movements start to be missing when you start taking frames out per second. So the video starts to look choppy. Choppy. The more frames you take out, the more choppy the video looks. If you want smoother action, then it should have the highest frame rate it can have. They obviously aren't using the highest frame rate because they tried to cut, 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 cut. You keep it at 720. But for all practical purposes, they probably should have just been at 480p um, at a constant rate, and it might have looked better. Um, so for virtual pinball, true virtual pinball, for the guys that are really into that, I mean, a high end, to get the smoothest picture, you would need 300 frames or higher, okay? 200 to 300 is playable with a little stutter. Anything near 200 is likely to have some jitter. Okay, one up needs to get the frame rate up to around 200 frame rate in order to be good. Okay, um, but uh, but if they they can make up for that by the other two by raising those up. Okay, so besides, have you seen video pixel? Not video, but but pixel for um, games. Um, the resolution, the bit rate, and the frame rate. They all are significant in the quality of why RK1 of 720 didn't look good. Everyone thinks the solution is 1080p, but they can play the same games. So that's not the solution at all. Okay. Now, besides those issues, and this is what I'm closing with, there are even more, but I'm not going into those. It's also the encoding, how well they encoded it. The decoding, how well does it decode as you play it? And the compression. Did it? What did they over compress it too much? You know, if you can, if you can, if you take a picture, you can even see where it can reduce the picture down. So, um, when you send a picture to email, they just say, Hey, we're, we're going to send it at a lower uh, resolution to send it. It's compressing it more, we're reducing it, and it doesn't look as good. So, um, also whether it's interlaced or progressive. So all of these things are factors and why RK1 of 720p, which should be a beautiful picture, guys. Really, it's not about 720p. And that's what I'm trying to tell you because everyone is saying that it's because of 720p and it's not really because of 720p. It's because of all the issues I said. They could have made 480 look good, probably, maybe not for digital pinball. But 720 should not have been a problem if they had kept all those things at the highest. Um, but in order to keep them at the highest, of course, you have to have a powerful enough chip to run it there. They couldn't run theirs at 1080p, and they obviously couldn't run it at 720p, huh? On a 24-inch at that, I'm just surprised that Zen didn't just come out to say, guys, you've got to use a more powerful um, game chip. This is just not working. I bet you they did, though, actually. But RK1 up is we got to keep the price. We, we we tied our hands. We have to keep it at this rate. And, and if we if we go to a more expensive uh, chip, then we'll have to raise the price. Okay. RK1 up, go to a more expensive chip. Please, just do it. All right. Um, Look, if you can go to a high end, I, I can go up to $9.99 if you're going to give me 4K, 34-inch with super high premium products. I'll be happy. Okay, and I think a lot of people would feel the same way. Now, there's some people who are like, I don't care. I want to be at five, six hundred dollars. Keep the low end for them, but give us a higher end. You can one up Legends, but right now I own a Legends, and Legends is really they did it mostly right. All right, thanks a lot, guys.